Lucas Media. We're not even gonna make a video about this, but Shannon Sharp, you know, the people have been calling him Zesty, right, over the last several weeks. And shout out to T Way Sports and Culture. Seen the video on them, excuse me. And I seen it going on over the weekend. Like I said, I wasn't even gonna make a video, but whatever, right? I need people, Shannon need people to defend this nonsense. When when did people start calling him zesty, right? Or very suspicious behavior. Now I seen the, the video of him getting out the car. Number one, he's standing like that because he had two hip replacements. He talked about it on Undisputed. I mean, a man had a Hall of Fame career. You play football. A lot of times people have uh, long-lasting injuries outside of the game. So, I mean, he walked like that because he got two artificial hips. So, that's number one. Y'all want to talk about the outfit. How y'all talk about Shannon Sharp rocking the outfit when you turn on your favorite hip-hop vi uh, video or even athletes now. And what all you see them doing uh, um, on the runway. The NBA has basically become a, a fashion show. All the players walking in. All their high-end designer stuff. And if you do your research on a lot of the designers. I mean, come on now. And then. Why is it that every time. Somebody like Shannon Sharp blows up. That's the first thing y'all do. See. When Shannon, when Shannon was okay and he had views, but he didn't break the internet, you didn't really hear stuff like this. But this is what happened. Just that hate mentality that we all have in us, this sickness that we have. It's like, okay, so why is Shannon Sharp getting scrutinized, but don't nobody have nothing to say about Dwayne Wade? You rarely hear people talking about Dwayne Wade. And you got people justifying it, right? Which, whatever, right? He a grown man. He do what he want. But why why are y'all holding Shannon to, to a different standard than than some of your other artists and entertainers and all of that? Like, And then I see people talk about, oh, he had a, was that a bag around, around his shoulders? Well, Floyd do that. I've seen LeBron do that in the past. But don't nobody have nothing to say. That's what I'm saying. Like, y'all nitpick with certain individuals. And in certain individuals, you give excuses and pass for. And if you're going to get on Shannon, y'all need to get on everybody. Honestly. I mean, but the reason why I defend them, because well, come on now. We know majority of people feel some kind of way. If Shannon didn't break the internet, nobody would say something. But because he did, y'all know how we do. We hate to see each other win. So now we got to find the... the the smallest thing to try to nitpick, even though this brother has had children that's looked like us and has raised adult children. Hmm. But then nobody had anything to say about that. So, I mean, this is, it's sad. It, it really is sad, honestly. But I want to get my quick thoughts about, oh, one more thing. Antonio Brown, for you to talk about Shannon, you got a lot of nerve. Wasn't you twerking after a touchdown? Hmm? I believe you were. <laughs> and I really could go in on a lot of these people that's going on Shannon, but whatever. This ain't got to be a long video. But I want to give my quick thoughts about, about it. What y'all think?